Hi, it's Maggie. Today I'm looking at Kamala Harris's chart. Um, I've already done her natal chart, so this will be her transits on election day. So, first of all, she has the moon in Gemini, transiting moon in Gemini, where the planets are, will be on November 3rd, 2020, election day in the US, the moon will be in Gemini. And so, and also the North Node is in Gemini. So she has, she has the moon in the 12th house, but she has, the North Node is ascending ascending in her in her chart and her natal her natal north node is also ascending so she's she's destined to rise and be hurt <laughs> and she is definitely hurt uh, very very and born to be very skilled at communication and as a prosecutor um, and senator and all of the offices she's held. Um, she has a very strong Mars and Aries, transiting Mars and Aries right now in the 11th house of communication and groups. Um, it's Aquarius's house. So her Mars looks really good up there, up, in, up near the midheaven. Um, she has Neptune, conjunct Chiron and Pisces in the 10th house, so everyone everyone has Neptune and Pisces, so for her she's having to overcome a lot of um, a lot of confusion and dishonesty and deception, you know, like with you know, people Russia and people meddling in, the, in our um, election um, so that would be Neptune in the tenth house. So she's she's having to deal with a lot of that, but you know she just she's able to see through the veil and uh, uses her skill as a prosecutor. I love to see her her um, not interrogate, but yeah, you know when she has like a witness on the stand or she's. Just doing, uh, qu just questioning, just her line of questioning is very, very strong and powerful, and she can she can cut to the point very, very quickly, um, very quickly. You just don't. Um, you don't mess around with her. Sun is in Scorpio, and for her, it's in the fifth house, fifth house of um, children. Um, creativity, self-expression. So her self-expression -expre is very, very powerful. Um, having it in Scorpio in the fifth house, and she loves it. She loves what she does. Mercury is in Libra, also in the fifth house. It's an intercepted house. Um, so her communication comes off very, uh, and she can be very poised and reserved. And Libra is justice, balance, harmony, and so, you know, she's, she's, she believes in those things. She, she's a fighter for justice, so she uses her communication skills that she has innately to, um, to work, you know, in the, both in the Senate and um, as vice presidential candidate. So that, that's really helping her transiting Mercury in Libra in the fifth house. Makes her very attractive in her communication. Very attractive. Because the fifth house is Leo's house, so it's a fiery house. And it's self-expression, so her self-expression comes off very, very well. Um, very strong sun in Scorpio. That's joint assets, passion, she, a lot of intensity. <laughs> she has that intensity. Um, let's see. Yeah, but her north node ascending and transiting north node ascending, those both look really, really good for her. Really good for her. Um, so does her Mars up there in Aries. 
A fighter, fighter for the people. <laughs> the people would be Aquarius's house, the eleventh house. And yeah, well, you read, read her charts. It's very, very brief overview. Uranus is in. Looks like it, it's in the eleventh house as well. Uranus is in the eleventh house as well. So sudden, unpredictable change. You know, uh, for the people, for the people. So, and I talked about her moon in Gemini. It's in the twelfth house. <clears throat> so, um, and that's kind of how this campaign is going. You know, um, just with with all the town hall. You know, it, the town halls and everything the way they are. Her. Capricorn stellium, everyone has transiting Capricorn stellium, Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn. For her, they're in her eighth house. Eighth house, I think, of litigation. <laughs> I do, I think of litigation. Um, because it's oftentimes, it, well, it is, it's Scorpio's house for one thing. It's, um, she has it in Capricorn. But it is, it can be legal battles at times, you know, regarding joint assets, um, joint assets. And um, so, and fighting against authority. So, you know, with Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter in Capricorn in her eighth house, um, she is a fighter for the assets of the people. You know, that's what she's trying to do. Um, so when she takes the stand to, you know, takes a case, <laughs> a case for the people, that's that she's very skilled at that. And that's what she's doing and genuinely. Um, she needs it. And that's what she's doing right now. So having it in Scorpio, it just gives her even more power. Gives her even more power. Um, her son is in Libra. Happy birthday. And she has Mercury conjunct her son. So that's very strong and powerful and poised. And it's, you know, communicating for justice. And because Libra is all about justice and equality and um all of those values Libra has. You know, I usually say art and beauty, but it's the scales of justice are extremely strong, extremely strong. And with her, you know, you get a lot of, right now with Mercury right on her son, there's a lot of, um, it helps her. It definitely helps her with her communication and trying to achieve justice in this election. And you know, in, in all the laws, all the laws that she has to fight to pass. <laughs> it's, it's, I say fight because Mars is in Aries and it is a struggle. You know, it's definitely a struggle to get anything done in the Senate. So, yeah, she's got her work cut out for her. Uh, may the best woman win. And, uh, yeah, I'm really hoping it's her. Really hoping it's her. I, I, I know I shouldn't be biased, but she would be the first woman president, you know, and I think she would be an exceptional president, president, I meant vice president, and you know, but there is that 20 year thing going on, the 20 year Jupiter Saturn, uh, Jupiter Saturn conjunction in Capricorn, um, uh, every 20 years, a president will die in office, or, you know, there's been six out of ten, or so, I don't know, either attempted assassinations in office that, you know, like with, um, I think it was Bush. Anyway, attempted, and Reagan, you know, attempted, but they didn't die in office, thankfully, so nobody wants that, but, um, you know, possibility she could be our first woman president one day that would be awesome so anyway i hope you enjoyed this 
If you do, please like, subscribe, and share. I like her north node ascending, definitely. Very strong sun in Scorpio. Uh, yeah, it looks good for the lower. Uh, so everyone take care. Vote if you haven't already. Get out there and vote. It counts. And if you like this, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.